Welcome to the Academic Awards video. Once again, Ames High, we had a great year, and congratulations to all the students, organizations, coaches, teachers that put in hard work so that we could have all of these well-deserving honors. I hope you enjoy the slide presentation, and again, great job. Since 1988, the Bernie Saga Award has been given to, in the words of the award, a graduating student athlete who best exemplifies a patriotic spirit with strong moral convictions, living and professing the qualities of honesty, integrity, and sportsmanship, believing that both games and life should be conducted by the rules. This year, we'd like to honor Spencer Shane. Spencer, this award is given to you by the coaches of Ames High. Congratulations, Spencer. This year, we had seven students recognized for outstanding speeches at the All-State Speech Festival. They are on Shaman Dash with Public Address, Jamie Steyer with Radio News, Malia Robeson in Storytelling, Jacob Lynch in Improv, Amelia Merchant in Acting, Rebecca Stevens for Original Oratory, and Justin Wigdahl for Storytelling. It is incredibly difficult to get to the All-State Festival, and so all of our speech coaches and students should be proud. There are over 340,000 students involved in aquatics at the high school level, and over 15,000 boys and girls programs in the nation. Approximately 2% of these students are recognized as high school All-Americans in swimming, diving, water polo, and academics. The National Interscholastic Swimming Coaches Association of America would like to recognize the following swimmers who have achieved this prestigious award of Academic All-American. On the girls team, we have Bailey Molden, Taylor Riken, Olivia Snyder, and Maddie Hunky. On the boys team, we have Mark Milligan and Caleb Utesh. Congratulations, students. In November, the Honors Earth and Space Science students sent in their research proposals to the Iowa Academy of Science. Eighteen projects were awarded grant funds totaling more than $650. Congratulations to these students. Aaron Bendixson, Ben Tolp, Joshua Zhao, Tilden Chen, Agnes Souza, Andrew Kim, Rachel Junk, Carly Watson, Sabrina Hegelheimer, Eva Sheeb, Benaya Shrestha, Grace Snyder, Maya Chen, Paulina Lavrova, Tiffany Chu, Brian Todi, Zoe Hamstreet, Sari Brachy, Charlotte Lincatis, Hartley Christensen, William Crow, Marcus Risi, Patrick Jarenka, Cameron Madsen, Shelley Baldridge, Maria Werner Anderson, and Morgan Feely. Congratulations to Aparna Jarapu, who will be representing Iowa at the International Science and Engineering Fair, and to Marlena Dornick Hayes, who will be a ninth grade observing student next May in Los Angeles, California. And special congratulations to Rachel Kim, Maya Chen, and Paulina Larova, who will be representing the state of Iowa in 2015 at the American Junior Academy Science of Meeting held in San Jose, California. Congratulations to Ferris Samir, a U.S. History Exchange student from Jordan. Ferris applied for an opportunity to participate in a civic education workshop. 500 applicants from around the world applied for this, buying for the 100 participant selection for in this mini UN format, which allowed them to meet with officials from the State Department as well as members of Congress. Great job, Ferris. Each year, the Iowa Football Coaches Association selects an academic all-state team for excellence in academics and football. This year, we'd like to congratulate Spencer Shane, Ames High Senior, for earning that honor. For 91 years, the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards have fostered the creativity and talent of millions of students through recognition, exhibitions, publications, and scholarships. Since its founding, the awards program has identified the early promise of some of our nation's most exceptional artists, including alumni such as Truman Capote, Sylvia Plath, and Stephen King. This year, Ames High's Claire Dupuy earned an award of Gold Key for her essay, 90% Mental. Saba Tusi earned multiple awards for her fiction, including a silver key for her short story, Death, amongst other things. Jill Zmolik earned an award of silver key for her personal essay, Eight Years. Joanna Held earned an award of honorable mention for her essay, In Front of an Audience. And finally, Ella Bartlett, earned four awards for her fiction work, including a Gold Key Award for a short story called Vertebrae. For the second year in a row, Bartlett's fiction also earned an American Voices nomination. These Gold Key Awards are known as the best of show for each region. 
National judges select these national awards, and this year Ella's story Vertebrae was the Iowa region's best of show. Ella has been invited to receive the Gold Key American Voices Award at New York City's Carnegie Hall on June 6th. National medalists such as Ella are recognized among the top 1% of student artists in the nation. If you'd like to read some of these works, several of the award-winning essays and short stories are posted in a display case in the English department hallway. Congratulations to all of these dedicated writers. On Saturday, October 23, 2013, 4,824 of Iowa's finest high school musicians were auditioned for spots in the 2013 All-State Music Festival. Students prepare audition material and then perform for judges who evaluate them in several categories. 24 Ames High students were selected to perform in one of these three musical ensembles. All these students from across the state who were selected assembled in Ames in November to rehearse and then perform a concert at Hilton Coliseum. Patrick Jasper was selected for the third year for the 4A All-State Jazz Band. Only two alto saxophones in the state are selected for this honor. In February of this school year, we had several Ames High School students participate in the American Mathematics Competition's Level 12B and Level 10B examination. Our winners in the 12B category were Kishan Tiagi, whose score qualified him to then go on to the American Invitational Mathematics exam. And in the 10B level, Alvin Tan was our school winner. Congratulations to both. Matthew Consa earned a Blue Merit in Drawing in the Teacher's Choice Award at the CIMA Art Show. He also earned a Student Choice Award, the Iowa Heart Award for Body of Work, and a Hall of Fame Award in Drawing at the AHS Senior Show. At the Octagon AHS Senior Show, he earned the Best of Show Award, and at All-State Art, he came in first. Robert Bingham won a Silver Key at the national level of the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. He also earned two Gold Keys and a Silver Key at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards at the state level, earned a Blue Merit in Altered Photography at the CIMA Art Show, and earned a Hall of Fame Award in Photography at the AHS Senior Show. Sarah Cannon got two gold keys, a silver key, and two honorable mentions at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. She also earned the Hosher Family Photography Award at the AHS Senior Show and was a Youth Art Month selection. Brian Toady got an honorable mention at both the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards as well as the CIML Art Show. Katie Saylor earned Best of Show in 2D Art at the CIML Art Show. Carla Began earned an honorable mention at the CIML Art Show. She also came in second in Fibers at the Octagon High School Senior Show. Siriaco Garcia got first place in drawing at the Octagon High School Senior Show. Caitlin Barker was a Youth Art Month selection. Grace Scheib got an honorable mention at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Catherine Woodruff got an honorable mention of photography at the Octagon High School Senior Show. Emmy Arnie Oriervedez got a silver key at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Two honorable mentions were earned by Bramwin Gerard at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, and Brittany Nash earned an honorable mention at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Sam Roberts earned a Blue Merit Award at the CIMA Art Show. He also came in third place with the Jeffrey Brown Memorial Award at the Octagon Senior Art Show. He also got a Hall of Fame Award at the Senior Show. Diane Pascash got a Blue Merit Award at the CIML Art Show and was an honorable mention at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Gretchen Kramer got an honorable mention on the CIML Art Show and also got a Hall of Fame Award at the AHS Senior Show and the Ames Silversmithing Award in Jewelry at the Octagon Senior Show. Tessa Myers got an AABC Award at the AHS Senior Show and an Octagon Award in Mixed Media and Fibers. Hunter Pruger earned an AABC Award at the AHS Senior Show. Katie Jones earned a Harrington Graphic Design Award at the AHS Senior Show. DJ Parsons got a Hall of Fame Award at the AHS Senior Show and also earned the Jeffrey Brown Memorial Award at the Octagon Senior Show. Levi Peterson got a Hall of Fame Award at the AHS Senior Show. Marlene Dornicke has got a Silver Key Award at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Ben Solsbury got a Gold Key at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards and also earned an American Visions Award. Michaela Cannon earned a Scholastic Silver Key and also got second place in drawing at the Octagon Senior Show. Alyssa Saylor won a silver key at the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Isaiah Devon got an honorable mention, as did Braden Wyrick. Congratulations to Jamie Steyer, one of only 25 girls in the state of Iowa to be selected to the Iowa Basketball Coaches Association Academic All-State Team. Ames High Debate had a very strong season this year. As members of the National Forensics League, several Ames High Debaters achieved high levels of distinction. Novice debaters Lucy Ching and Burhan Syed received the degree of excellence this year. Those advancing to the level of distinction were Daniel Andriotti, Serena Kamhaya, Angelica Parsons, Paulina Lavrova, and Bella Will. The three varsity members of the team who rose to the rank of special distinction are Naomi Peterson, Michelle Hu, and Ben Salzberger.
And graduating senior Christopher Jackson ended his debate career at Ames High with a National Forensic League level of outstanding distinction. In addition, Chris qualified for the national tournament in congressional debate and received a bid point for the National Tournament of Champions in public forum debate with his partner, Naomi Peterson. The following students have been selected as the 2014 Presidential Scholars Program candidates. They represent the top 3,000 students in the country based on ACT, SAT scores. Of these, one student, Kiri Tan, has been selected as a semifinalist representing the top 565 students in the country. The following students were named finalists and semifinalists in the 2014 National Merit Scholarship Program. They represent the top 1% of 1.5 million students who took the PSAT as juniors. The following students were named commended students in the 2014 National Merit Program. They represent the top 5% of the 1.5 million students who took the PSAT as juniors. Carla Began has been named a finalist in the 2014 competition for National Achievement Scholarships. This represents the top 1% of 160,000 African American students who took the PSAT as a junior. The following students have been named National Achievement Program Outstanding Participants, which represents the top 5% of the 160,000 African American students who took the PSAT as a junior. The following students have been named to the National Hispanic Recognition Program as scholars. They represent the top 2% of 259,000 Hispanic Latino students who took the PSAT as a junior. That concludes our presentation. Once again, great job by everyone. Um, aims high, always aims high. Have a great day, and we'll see you next year.